Hi everyone. Do you ever wish that some things didn't bother you as much as they do? Do you lose sleep at night overthinking things and just wondering how your partner or your friend can just go turn around, go to bed and not even think twice? Do you wonder why you always dwell and dwell on things and then you look around at someone that you know and they just bounce back. It's like water off a duck's back and it's so easy for them when adversity comes their way or things don't happen for them that they could just bounce back, think, oh yeah, it happened, but it's all right, I'll be fine. And there's you who's dwelling, stressing, exhausted and can't get over it. If you're that kind of person, then this video is definitely for you. We are going to look at how to be mentally strong and what it is that mentally strong people do that they manage to just bounce back from every problem and every issue and obstacle. And why is it that we can't do that? If you don't know me, I'm Hamasa. Welcome to my page. On this corner of the internet, I look at personal de development, emotional and mental well-being. So please subscribe to my channel. So this week's topic is about being mentally strong. And us being halfway through the second lockdown, I think that our mental state is ever more put on the spot and it's under so much pressure and we have to keep it together and keep hopeful and I feel like it's very difficult to do that especially with the winter months everything's dark and cold and miserable we're stuck at home we have no social life we can't see friends and family and that's not easy for anyone to cope with so if you're not mentally strong that's probably wearing you down even more so so I just wanted to give you guys three tips on how to become mentally strong and have control over the situation so that things like this doesn't really phase you or break you. Most of us, when things don't go right for us, me included, is you really do feel like your whole world's fallen apart. It's like, oh my God, I have to start again and I have to do this all over again and I didn't expect this and you know you get carried away with your thoughts and your imagination and you start planning ahead and so when that something fails then all your plans and your imagination that you built up is just now gone to waste so you feel completely broken depleted and devastated and you can't accept what's happened which is my video on victim mentality so check that out you basically walk around thinking that you've just been dealt a bad hand and you're so unlucky. But the one thing that I've learned after just looking into mentally, mental toughness and mental strength and things that I came across is that the one advice that stood out the most to me was that you need to live by a mantra of I will be okay even if things don't go my way. And when I heard that, it just clicked in my head that that's exactly how or when is when I'm not okay. When things don't go my way, I really get frustrated, angry, and it's just, I feel crap. And I really get worked up over it. And when I saw that, I really understood that, you know what, it doesn't necessarily always have to go my way for me to be okay about it and the minute you start accepting and understanding that you will be okay regardless of whether something goes your way or not and if you have this belief that everything happens for a reason and things fall into place and in you if you just trust the process then I assure you that when things don't work out to plan for you it will not phase you as much as you're allowing it to phase you now. If you start practicing this mantra of, I will be okay even if things don't go my way, then when they don't go your way, you've already convinced yourself that you will be okay. And therefore you have this empowered mentality to now tackle the problem that didn't work out according to you. So you have this proactive mindset of problem solving and looking at obstacles as, well, it's okay. I'm still okay about it. so. How can I now improve from this? My second tip for you guys would be to not depend so heavily on the outcome or the expectations that you have. Because the thing is, it's, it's great for us to set goals and to work towards them. But if you think about it, if you've ever achieved your goal and it's felt, it felt amazing 
and you know you really felt like yeah you know what i set myself this goal i've gotten here i've achieved it how long that amazing feeling really lasts because if you're quite a goal oriented person once you achieve that goal straight away you're thinking on to the next one okay so now i've achieved this what's next so it's important for us to understand that most of life and what we really learn and enjoy and grow from is the process, not so much the destination. So you've got to be adaptable and you've got to be flexible when things don't work out the way you expected them to. So the outcome of that, so not to not so heavily rely and depend on the outcome. And if the outcome doesn't go your way, you are then completely broken, devastated, depleted. You cannot accept that things didn't go to your plan. So you've got to be more adaptable, understand that most of life is in the process. You've got to, it's not the destination, it's the journey that you go there and things will go up and down. Things will work out according to you sometimes and other times they won't. And either way, that's okay. It's not the outcome that you're really concerned about, it's the process of learning. And if you start looking at it that way and not rely so heavily on that outcome, on those expectations, then that is one of the most useful skills you can teach yourself as an individual because that's what life's about. It's all a journey, it's all ups and downs. My third tip for you guys is to learn how to bounce back. Now, of course, you could be the most pious, righteous, um, emotionally and mentally woke individual on the planet. But when things don't go according to your plan or you were really hoping for something or you really wanted something and it didn't work out, it's only in human nature for you to feel disappointed, let down, upset. And that's okay. I'm not saying go numb to all those feelings. I'm saying feel them experience them, understand them, learn from them, and then say, okay, this is done. Now it's time for me to get back up, dust myself off and go again. That's where the skill is. And that's where it's important for us to understand that the bounce back, because everybody will have failure. We will all have failures. It's only normal. We need to have failures to learn about ourselves. It's the losers, it's the, the wins are easy, everybody can win. It's the losses that really teach us the most about ourselves. So that's absolutely fine for you to fail, but it's for you to develop this mentality of, that's okay if I failed the first time, I'll do it again. That's okay if this didn't work out for me. Something else will, something better will come along. And just have that mentality of, this will not break me, this will not defy me. This is just a bump in the road. Being mentally strong isn't about numbing yourself to everything and not letting anything bother you and just being like, mm, I'm okay, I'm not phased, because that's not human. We as humans have emotions and have feelings and have empathy and things will bother us and things will upset us. And that's absolutely fine. The thing is, when you numb the bad, you also numb the good. You cannot numb one without the other and you don't wanna numb out the good. So going numb isn't an option. The thing to do would be to develop certain skills and practice and to some of us these things may come very naturally because it's just in our nature and to others it may take more practice and more consciousness on your behalf, mindfulness, but that's okay. As long as you know that with these three mantras, tips, whatever you want to call it, if you practice this every day, you apply them to yourself and you become conscious of it, you too will be able to be in a place where just little small mundane things will not keep you up at night and they will just not bother you anymore because you value your time and energy as you should. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like and comment on this video and I'll see you guys again here soon. Mwah.